Hey guys, it's me, Vinny Las Uh Before I give my recap of last week's NFL games, as well as a preview of this week's NFL games, I want to tell you about what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I went with my friend, his brother, and his grandmother to go see the amazing Kreskin at the Town & Country Inn in Keyport, New Jersey. Now, for those that don't know, you're probably asking yourselves, Vinny, who is the amazing Kreskin? Who, who is this guy you speak of? Well, my friend, I'll tell you. George Kresge, better known as Kreskin, the amazing Kreskin, is a mentalist who was best known for appearing on Johnny Carson over 100 times back in the day, as well as Letterman, Fallon. He's had a movie made about him starring John Malkovich called The Great Buck Howard. It even has Tom Hanks, Emily Blunt, Steve Zahn, Adam Scott, and even Colin Hanks in it as well. It was made by Mark Cuban's company, Magnolia Pictures, back in 2009. And yeah, he's just an absolute legend when it comes to the field of magicians, when it comes to the field of late night guests. And it was a joy to see him now. He's 87 years old now, so he's obviously much older in age. A lot of people, I even asked some of my friends about it, and some of them thought that he was dead. But no, he is still alive. He's as alive as ever. He's running every single day, 20 minutes a day. And he's still doing active shows. He's not going to retire until he's dead. Simple as that. Now, how did was I able to get to his show in Jersey, what what made me want to do that in the first place? Well, for those that don't know, I am a part of the Discord server Mark to Carlos Universe, where we were successful in getting Hugh Neutron from Jimmy Neutron, a playable character as a playable character in the video game Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. When this happened, um, and we know Mark, we know Deb, we know a few other people from the cast as well. When this happened. Kreskin noticed that we were very excited to see Hugh make it. And he decided to comment on his Twitter page about it. And when Joe saw it, when my friend Joe saw it, he said, who's this guy Kreskin? And he asked his parents and his grandma about it. And he said, oh, I know who that guy is. He appeared on Carson that many times, on so many times. And he was stunned. Like, oh my God. Whoa. Because we were getting already a number of celebrities. We got in some voice actors, but... Knowing a guy that was on Carson, Johnny Carson, probably the most famous talk show host of all time, that many times, he's one of the most famous guests of his. This is huge, especially we didn't know if we'd have this opportunity ever again. So we invited him onto the server. We had a Q&A with him. And my friend Joe asked me, hey, you know, we have some free t tickets. Do you want to come? And I said, yeah, absolutely. I would love to. Our friend Al wanted to come with his wife, but unfortunately their in-laws were over, so they were not able to come. And getting there, I've been to Joe's house before, but this time there was significantly more traffic and the George Washington Bridge was closed. So I had to go all the way up through Westchester just to get to Northern Jersey where he was. And then I went in the car with him, his grandmother who was driving, and his brother Michael. So we went to the Town & Country Inn and when we looked at it, we just a normal diner. But if you go in the back, you see the old bar area. You see like a catering section. And you see an entire huge ballroom. And that is where we were sitting. We sat at the free table with um, his road manager, Andrew. Amazing guy, Andrew. Completely courteous throughout the entire event. As well as these two women. I think they were friends. Um, their, their husbands were home watching their kids. And, you know, one of them was saying how... His, her father was a very close friend, family friend of Kreskin. And when her father died, Kreskin would actually send her gifts, actually, to commemorate the memory of her father. And that was a really amazing experience. And then the show begins. Kreskin comes with a somewhat off-pattern blazer. It was like red on one side, green on the other side. It was really nice. It was very eye-popping. And I see some of this, the tricks that he does with the cards completely unopened. They were able to know that it was an X on the backs of these cards. We did a phone book trip, just a random page in the phone book that one of the subjects took. It 
pointed to molasses. Just with his eyes closed, he just pointed where it said molasses. And he opened the card and it said molasses on it. Like, how? How? And I was on a few of the, uh, I was on a couple of the, um, the presentations as well. One one had marbles where it was four white marbles and one black marble and it was with five people. The one man had a black marble. He was able to know that somehow, some way. And then for the final one, I was also, I came up again. It was me, my friend Joe and two other people. Some other people went outside and took Kreskin outside, completely outside, right outside the diner in the parking lot. He would have no idea, no idea at all. There's no cameras at all. There's no electronic, there's nothing. He senses nothing. And he was told us before he went outside, he wanted us to put uh, this card, just a random card. It had like his name on it in like a random place. And he asked to look for it without anyone giving any hints or clues. And so we decide, Joe decides, um, we were thinking about putting it all the way up top in the ceiling, or like the side of the doors, but we decided to put it in his grandmother's bra. And that was, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, and so when Kreskin comes back, it's a few minutes later, and he has no idea, no idea about any of this. He decides to hold a handkerchief with Joe's hand, and he walks around and he goes by the ceiling. Goes by the ceiling. He, he's able to know about it somehow, some way. I don't know how. Apparently, Joe's hand like... And also by the exit door. And then there was another woman that he decided to take around with as well. And then finally, he got to me. And he was able to hold the handkerchief. And I did not say anything. I didn't poop a single word. I didn't show any eye contact, nothing. He was able to carry it very gracefully across... And he went to, he went to Joe's grandmother and he's searching her without even realizing it. I don't say a single word at all during this entire event. And he discovers it right in her bra and everyone was clapping. It was, oh my God, just like this. I was like the center of a whole show for him. And for those that are curious about it, he said at the very end, if you, if you believe it, an explanation is not needed. But if you don't believe it, an explanation is not possible. And it was an amazing show. It just blew me away. He was able to think about people's own thoughts. It's, it was mind blowing to me that he was able to know this. 87 years in this industry, and he's still as sharp as a tack. Granted, a little bit slower when it comes to walking and movements and short-term memory, but when it comes to long-term memory, he's got that down to a T. And then afterwards, my friend Joe decided to interview him for you know part of the server we're, we're a part of. And when it was done, I decided to help him out with the car, in his car. We got interviews. We got autographs. I got a few autographs myself. This one... Is one of his old uh, from one of his old sh from an old game he has ESP. Got this to Vinny, especially Kreskin. Here's another one of his. This was one of the normal pictures. This one's all colorized. Is to same thing as well. Um, in the show, also have a few of his books, The Adventures of the Amazing Kreskin, then Kreskin in Real Time. And then finally, conversations with Kreskin. Yes, all these were on the house. Even the food was on the house, which the food was really good. Town and Country Inn, you make some really good aju. Gonna, not going to lie. I even have his card. The amazing Kreskin. It says here, post office box and everything. And on the back, look what it says right there. It says, even now, I know what you're thinking. And... Really, really clever. It's very short, very simple, but it gets to the point. You even got the producer's card for the people that ran the show. And this is one final, um, one final signature, one final uh, signature he did as part of the universe server. Mark DiCarlo plays Hugh Neutron from Jimmy Neutron, all the other characters. And one fan decided to give artwork of it. And so he decided to draw Hugh Neutron with Kreskin and he said, 
why am I only sensing ducks and pies here? And you know, there's a duck in the pie right there and he also signs my name also. This is great artwork, Ian. If you're watching this, phenomenal artwork. Keep up the good work, man. And this artwork was shown during the event by Kreskin. He showed it to the entire crew. And before it, he even gave a shout out to Joe for making this possible for getting his name to a, to a wider audience. Again, giving him relevance to a whole new generation that he didn't even think was possible. And when I went outside with him, bringing his stuff in his car, I was the one helping bring his tubs in there and his Sharpies and his coat. I gave him his coat as well. And I gave him his hanger. Oh my God. It was truly remarkable. And finally, just before he left, we took a picture and I helped, I even helped the man get into his car and I even buckled his seatbelt and shut his door for him. Yes, you heard that right. I packed his car with his road manager and I even sat him in his chair, in his car. I got him in there. I even buckled his own seatbelt. I buckled his seatbelt. I even shut his door for him and I said, thank you, Kreskin, for a wonderful experience. I will never forget it. He said, you're welcome. We will see each other soon to be continued. Him and Andrew said that. But, and then I drove home to Joe's house. And then I went home later on around 2.33 at night. That was my time at the show and afterwards. And throughout the entire thing, my friend Joe, uh, Joe Kosra, Seaman the Superverse, I'm going to, Put it later on uh, when when the vlog comes out i'll make sure to make a vlog about it for everyone to see said vlog but he did but there's some mature warnings <laughs> mature language just keep that in mind with it um so yeah it was a wonderful look and an unbelievable experience from start to finish i would like to thank andrew his road manager for making this possible for us i also want to thank joe joe kostra for my friend for inviting me to come over there in the first place. It's an experience I will never forget. Um, you're Again, Joe, you're an awesome dude. Everyone, please give him a shout out. Please give him a follow. Uh, his grandmother's awesome. She's cool. His brother, Michael, he's also really funny. And um, yeah, we're, Creston's getting a, a new audience. I, I truly believe that. This is a renaissance for him, for a new generation he never thought was possible. And I got to make this happen for him. And I'm I'm going to see him again. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to see him again. In fact, Andrew even invited me, Joe, and a few others to come with him and Kreskin to like a lunch one time. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen soon. I'm, I'm unbelievable. <laughs> wow. I, man, this just can't get any better than this. <laughs> and I'm going to watch this movie tomorrow. Don't worry. It's... Imagine having an amazing cast like that. A great cast, top to bottom, for a movie that they want to do about you. Kreskin, you really are. You live up to everything that they say you are. You truly are amazing in every sense of the word. Sense of the world. Please go follow his YouTube channel as well. He, I love his content there. He does some movie reviews. He did Morbius. <laughs> he did Freddy Got Fingered. He did some of these other movies as well. Just go and support him. Go and support Kreskin. Please go and support this man. He deserves it. He's he, he he's the best that there ever was. He's just, just amazing. I just can't use any other word than that. But that that's truly what it is with him. Mind blowing, mind life changing. I would argue life changing. Being with him for the eighty seven years of stories he's able to tell to me, to Joe, to everyone else. It's it feels very timeless. It truly does feel timeless and historic. I would have never had this experience and it's remarkable that I have. And the platform I have on YouTube, you guys, and the Discord server, it's allowed me to show this to other people that might not have been able to have this chance and to give them my own experiences of and my own account so they can understand and step in my shoes and see what I went through. But that's my that's my experience at the amazing Kreskin show. 
Again, everyone involved, thank you so much for making this possible. And I hope, and Kreskin, I hope to see you again soon. To be continued. Okay, everyone, make sure to hit like and subscribe uh, to Zenix2 Media. Hit the notification bell for more videos and more vlogs. I'll see you guys next time.